didn't know you, budgies. I want to live. No, no, you're too heavy. It's a glandular problem. Ah! Oh! Woo! Orlax, shut. Move, people. There is no escape. Those planes are flying where they belong. That's right. Over the homes of poor people. Top secret CIA weather control division, Jake speaking. Got me pizza store! Oh, it's you, Stan. What kind of favor? In the movie Knowing, the news reported a major oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. Tonight in the Gulf of Mexico, an explosion on a soon-to-be-decommissioned oil rig triggered a fire which burned for three hours before it was extinguished. Officials don't yet know the exact cause of the explosion, but believe a malfunction in the cooling system may have been at fault. Our last run in the rig has... Due to the prompt response of the rescue unit, the structure was evacuated with no loss of life. A year later, the Deepwater Horizon exploded. Six months before 9-11, a lone gunman episode showed us the World Trade Center being targeted by a hijacked passenger plane. Corner of Liberty in Washington, lower Manhattan. World Trade Center. We're going to crash the plane into the World Trade Center. And last year's film, White Noise, was about a train wreck that poisons a small town in Ohio. This is the very same story now playing out in real life. Within a year of White Noise's release, the actual event occurs in real life, in Ohio, in Texas, and in Michigan. This is known as predictive programming, and its purpose is to psychologically trick the minds of the masses into accepting major traumatic events that would otherwise be resisted. In the book Secret Societies and Psychological Warfare, Michael Hoffman describes a mind control technique known as the revelation of the method. And he writes that when the revelation of the method is performed in a veiled manner, accompanied by certain occult signs and symbolic words, and elicits no meaningful response of opposition or resistance from the target, it is one of the most efficacious techniques of psychological warfare and mind rape. Sarah Elkhaldi of the Alchemist YouTube channel does an excellent job of explaining all this. According to Elkhaldi, there is a law of nature in this universe that compels the dark occult to first gain our consent before trespassing against us, because they believe this protects them from the natural laws of cause and effect. They offered and we accepted, so it's all fair. A lack of response to an action is often taken as an approval of that action. And there is an old Latin proverb that says, he who is silent when he ought to have spoken and was able to, is taken to agree. Silence is considered by many to be a form of consent. And so it is through a veiled performance of the revelation of the method technique that these dark occultists believe they are gaining our consent. What we know as predictive programming with predictive programming, the minds of the masses are impregnated with visuals of a major event before it happens. This is done through all forms of media and can be very subtle so that nobody notices. But the subconscious mind notices everything and can easily be programmed through repetition. And so these controllers repeat whatever it is that they want us to accept as reality. Because these images are delivered to us through entertainment, 
They elicit no meaningful response of opposition or resistance, and so we accept them, subconsciously. And when the event happens in real life, it is already familiar and acceptable to us, as if that's just the way it is. It's a mind trick, and it works by keeping everyone locked in a spectator state. This causes what is known as paradigm blindness, which is when a person is incapable of seeing any reality other than what they've already been exposed to by the media. This paradigm blindness will cause a person to get emotionally triggered whenever confronted with an alternative point of view that they have not been programmed to accept. It's a very powerful mind trick, and the solution is quite simple. We need to stop living as spectators of someone else's reality. We need to start creating our own reality. And we need to remember how to say no, because they offer it to us and we accept it.